Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price because we are dumping towards our 50k target and uh, we're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and also into the DXY and Nasdaq at the end. And before we start with the content, my friends, I just want to tell you that you should never ever trade based on any kind of news that you're seeing in the newspaper or on the TV or wherever. So take decisions only based on the charts, based on your TA and don't freak out if someone like Elon Musk, for example, is tweeting any kind of things about Bitcoin or other coins. So take your own decisions and do your own research and TA. Don't leave listen to the media or whatever person is telling to you because usually those are only short-term drivers and are completely not significant for the price action and also not for the fundamentals. So whatever happens with the media, whatever kind of news that you're reading, don't care about, just focus on the charts. That's why in this channel, we are only covering the charts and never the news because they are completely not relevant and the media is always trying to manipulate you. So just focus on the charts and you will be doing fine my friends don't freak out whatever kind of tweets or news that are coming out from any kind of person also this recent tweet about Bitcoin from Elon Musk doesn't matter because this is just a short-term driver and anyway who wants to buy a Tesla with Bitcoin and Bitcoin also don't need an Elon Musk to go to the moon we have been going to the moon since 10 years now without an Elon Musk so it doesn't matter what's his opinion about Bitcoin. The facts are here in the charts. And that's why my friends, we always only cover the charts in my channel. And that's why we always do successful trades here because first comes always the price action and then the news, never the opposite. And with that said, my friends, we're gonna start here straight into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin. Because as you can see, yesterday we had here this uh, huge drop down towards the target of our rising wedge. Since many days, I'm already telling you that if this rising wedge is going to play out, we're gonna see again 50K for Bitcoin, maybe even drop lower because we have some bearish signs, especially in the bigger time frames like the monthly time frame that suggests that we could see one more less leg down towards 50k and lower before we are definitely out of the woods and head again towards new all-time highs here for Bitcoin and this is exactly what we are seeing right now. So we had now this initial dump here towards 50k, we even came down here towards $46,000 and in my opinion, the dump is not over yet, but what we are about to see here next, in my opinion, is another nice breather to the upside towards these $54,000 to potentially retest this price level as a new resistance. So since we are very oversold here in the four hour time frame and we already got a buy signal in the three hour time frame, I think that it's very likely that after this huge sell off that we're gonna see a breather to the upside and potentially retest this 53 to $54,000 area before we continue to go lower because the lower time frames are looking a bit bearish right now. I am expecting here continuation to the downside, but for the next coming hours, I'm expecting here a breather to the upside towards $54,000. And then if this is a new resistance, continue to go lower and potentially also take out this low here at $46,000. We are right now below all the important moving averages and EMA ribbons in the three and four hour time frame. So the trend now is definitely shifted to the downside and we should expect a continuation to the downside, but that doesn't mean that we are not seeing here a breather to the upside to potentially retest this 53 to $54,000 area. And that's why I'm also taking a little long position here on a buy bit because I think we're gonna see a little breather to the the upside but that doesn't mean that this is the bottom in my opinion we will go lower but at least for now a breather to the upside is very likely to come here in the next coming hours and why I believe that we are still in a downtrend and we will go lower than $46,000 at the end is because also here in the daily time frame, as you can see, we are starting now to close 
daily candles below the EMA ribbons, below all the important moving averages. Even here, the 100 daily moving average was broken immediately here. So it's very likely that we're coming up to retest the 100 daily moving average here at $54,000. But if we are confirming this as a new resistance, then we are definitely headed lower. And in that case, in my opinion, we are going towards the 200 daily moving average here at around 40K before we could see any kind of bigger bounce to the upside. So what I'm expecting in the next coming hours or days is here a potential retest of 54K to also retest this 100 daily moving average, which is a very important support level. At least in the past, it was a very strong support. Right now we are breaking down. And also you can see in my own indicator that we have still a lot of room left to the downside. So here we still have no buy signal, nothing. So that's why in my opinion, we still have a lot of room left to the downside before we are bottoming out here but uh, that doesn't mean that we're not gonna see a breather here. So a breather is still in the cards, but at the end, based here in the daily time frame, we are shifted to the downside and we should expect to go lower than the price levels that we're seeing right now. And another big warning sign, of course, is here the Keltner channel. As you can see, we are breaking out to the downside again, I told you that if we are not able to close again daily candles above the top of the Keltner channels, it's very likely that here we're gonna create a lower high in the daily time frame and then potentially roll over to the downside again and continue to close daily candles below the Keltner channels like we had also here with this last dump from 65K down to 47k so what we are seeing right now is the continuation from this dump after this lower high that we got here and we are most likely headed lower here so based on the keltner channels we are back in a downtrend and the top of the keltner channels should act now as a huge resistance so as long as we are not able to push higher than the top of the Keltner channels so above $59,000 I still remain more bearish and expect Bitcoin to go sideways or maybe lower before we are definitely bottoming out here and then continue again towards new all-time highs because the bull market in my opinion is by far not over and once we are getting here again bullish signs and bullish patterns here especially in the daily time frame and also once the hash ribbon indicator is again flashing to buy because we are still in this miners capitulation phase we still don't have any signs of a buy signal here i think that bitcoin is not ready to push higher and we should just be patient and wait until we are clearly bottoming out here in the daily time frame and also once we're getting here a buy signal in the hash ribbons then I think we are good to go to open up some nice big long positions over on Bybit or Femex and of course go all in into Bitcoin again because always in the past whenever we had here a buy signal we started to moon like crazy and I'm expecting the same thing that Bitcoin will go above $70,000 once we are having here a buy signal in the hash ribbons but until then we most likely are just going sideways here or continue to go lower and the targets here for the bearish scenario that we are not able now to maintain here the 20 weekly moving average so right now we are right at the 20 weekly moving average at $48,700 if we are starting to close weekly candles below this important moving average so below the 20 weekly moving average then in my opinion we are heading towards the nine monthly moving average which also always got tested during a bull market and the nine monthly moving average right now is here at $35,000 so yes, it is possible that we could even reach $35,000. I think it's unlikely, but if we would start to close weekly candles below this important moving average, below the 20 weekly moving average, then in my opinion, yes, it's likely that we could come down towards 35K to retest the nine monthly moving average, because that also was always a very strong support during an uptrend and so far it never got tested. But if we are able to keep up with this 20 weekly moving average, so if we are closing weekly candles above this important moving average, then I think we will not see that scenario. And that would mean that the 20 weekly moving average is most likely here at the bottom for this consolidation phase and we are heading higher afterwards especially after we're getting a buy signal in the hash ribbons and also once we're getting again buy signals in my own indicator at least in the daily time frame so these next couple of daily closes and of course all the weekly closes are going to be very key to see where bitcoin is heading to next we are in a very critical point right now since we are losing important supports especially if this 50k will not hold 
That's why at least here at 50k I'm expecting a breather to the upside before we continue to go lower. But it all will be depending from the daily and weekly time frame if here we could potentially create a big double bottom formation in the daily time frame and then head higher towards new all time highs. Or if we're gonna lose here the support of 50k that we could see a potential bigger sell off down towards $35,000 which is very unlikely in my opinion but possible based on the charts. So even though this dump brought us below important supports and also below the Keltner channels again, I still expect Bitcoin to have some breeders to the upside and create here a potential big double bottom formation, which of course is a very bullish pattern. But if we're gonna deny this potential double bottom formation and also continue to drop lower below this 20 weekly moving average and start to close weekly candles below $48,000, then I'm afraid that we could come down to test the nine monthly moving average right here 35k before we potentially are going to bottom out and then continue our bull run don't forget that in the monthly time frame we got a sell signal i told you that at the end of april that we have some warning signs here in the monthly time frame but that wouldn't change much on the structure for bitcoin because we would be still in an uptrend here but that could mean that we are just coming down to test at least important moving averages like here the nine monthly moving average before we had higher and now let's switch over into the Ethereum price action because here you can see that also Ethereum currently is breaking below important supports, especially this previous support trend line from this rising wedge that we previously tested a couple of times as a support and right now we are breaking down. So if we're gonna start to close four hour candles below $3,800, it's very likely that we're gonna see a full retracement back down towards 3K and potentially also here head lower. That wouldn't change anything on the bullish structure here also for Ethereum because we're still in an uptrend. We are above all the important moving averages. But of course, if here we would start to close daily candles below $3,800 and also four hour candles below $3,800, the likelihood is high that we could have a complete retracement back down towards 3K where also the 20 daily moving average is lining up and then somewhere here find a bottom and continue our uptrend because Ethereum is still looking extremely bullish and any kind of bigger correction we should take as a good buy opportunity because Ethereum is still looking very healthy and this kind of bigger corrections should be always bought back up because also for Ethereum the bull run is by far not over and we will go towards new all-time highs here as well but of course as long as Bitcoin is going lower or maybe have a bigger dump we should expect also Ethereum to follow Bitcoin and that's why also here on Ethereum we could come back down towards 3k and if 3k will not hold then watch out for the next potential main support down here at around $2,200 because this important support trend line is coming from these lows that we had here in the past so Ethereum shouldn't break below $2,200 otherwise also here the likelihood is high that we could come down towards the 200 daily moving average at $1,500 and that of course could be a huge washout move if this would happen for Ethereum here. I don't think it's likely that we are coming down to $1,500 but if the 20 daily moving average here $3,200 will not hold it's very likely that at least we are coming down to test $2,200 and then have a big bounce to the upside. So also here on Ethereum, a bigger correction in my opinion is in the cards, but that wouldn't change anything on our bull run here for Ethereum. Take it as a good buy opportunity, the lower we drop because for the long term, we will go higher also here for Ethereum. And another bearish sign for the moment, of course, is the DXY, because as you can see, the DXY had here a big push to the upside. We are trading now again above this $90 resistance. We are right now approaching the 20 daily moving average. So in theory, the DXY is still in a downtrend and this move could be almost over here because since we are closing daily candles again below the 220 daily moving average, you can see that the 20 daily moving average always 
always acted as a resistance and even if we would start to close daily candles here above $91 I don't think that the DXY could go back in an uptrend here I think that latest here at the 200 daily moving average at $92 we could get a big rejection here because the DXY is still in a downtrend we are below all the important moving averages even though we had here a big breather but that was also expected since we were completely oversold in the RSI and also in my own indicator so this breather came and since we are now approaching again the 50 level in the RSI I still think that we most likely are getting rejected here but if here we're gonna see follow through to the upside above the 50 level in the RSI my target would be to reach at this $92 right here at the 200 daily moving average and latest here have a big rejection and then of course continuation to the downside because in theory the DXY is still in a downtrend and uh, this of course affects also a lot Nasdaq so if we go over to Nasdaq you can see that we continue to plunge here and we are now approaching these next potential support here at $12,800 and if this one is getting lost it's very likely that we're coming down to test the 200 daily moving average also here at $12,500 and you can see that in my own indicator we are coming into very oversold condition so I think latest once we are testing the 200 daily moving average and here we are getting a buy signal in the daily time frame we're gonna see a nice breather to the upside as well and create a potential bottom here also for Nasdaq so even though Nasdaq is coming down here in theory we are still in an uptrend since we are trading above the 200 daily moving average and we are already very oversold so we could get a nice breather here to the upside pretty soon but until then also here for Nasdaq I'm expecting continuation to the downside for these next coming days and that's why I think also here for Bitcoin the dump is not over and as long as we are not getting a buy signal here in the daily time frame the danger is very high that we could continue to go lower or just go sideways here create this potential big double bottom formation and then head again higher towards new all-time highs because we are only out of the woods from this big consolidation and correction phase once we are again above this important Fibonacci retracement here the 0.786 right at $61,000 once we are taking out these highs here and continue to go higher then I think we are out of the woods and we should look towards 70 to 80k for Bitcoin very very soon but until then be prepared that Bitcoin can just consolidate here at 50k for a while or even go lower before we definitely find a bottom and then gear up again towards new all-time highs. So with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and if you want to trade over on Bybit or Femex with leverage then check out my referral links down below here to sign up to Bybit and Femex because with my referral links you will get some extra bonus. Also check out all the other recommended exchanges like Binance, Primex, PT and so on. If you sign up with my referral links you will get some extra money and a big shout out goes out to Bitscap because they are offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free. Here you can run trading bots on your exchanges so you can connect all of your exchanges to one platform and then run trading bots and of course also do arbitrage. So if you're interested in that then definitely sign up with my link. For 14 days you get the pro plan for free. Afterwards you can upgrade for a monthly plan which is only starting by $19 a month and if it's paying out for you you should get this money very easily and quickly back because as you can see the trading bots are very very profitable and a big shout out goes also to our crypto trading chat here on discord if you want to join our discord community then use the invitation link that you find also here in the description once you have clicked on that go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot like this you have free access to the trading chat and if you want to get access to my own indicator then you have to send me here a private message because a small donation is needed in order to get access to the live stream otherwise just get a YouTube membership because like this you also have free access to this live stream which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin in different time frames so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye <laughs>